everybody. Tom Nappy here, and welcome to HCAM Sports Talk Live. On this edition of HCAM Sports Talk Live, we are going to relive the 2020-2021 winter sports season. We have all kinds of great Hopkinton Hillers, basketball, hockey, alpine skiing highlights to get to. So without further ado, here is a recap of the 2020-2021 winter sports season. In week one of the Hopkinton Hillers winter sports season, Hopkinton took on Norwood. No defenders off uh, usually a bucket as laying it in is Elena Davies. In the JV girls basketball game, the Mustangs of Norwood had a 22-19 lead heading into the second half. Elena Davies helped get the offense going for the Hillers in the third quarter. Some water and then they back out at it again. Keeping the mojo moving. Nice finish there by Alexis Bruce. Over to Kane. Kane steps back, tries to launch a three. Good block there by Chorus. Leaves it over to Dacey. Drives in, up for the shot, and in she goes. Emma Dacey with six points for the Hillers. Having the lane. Over to the right corner, long two, got it. Elena Davies. Serene over to the right wing, up for three, off the glass, no good. And it is collected by Davies. Davies works it up the lane, up and in with the right hand. Elena Davies, 16 points on the night, pulls the Hillers within four. Norwood outscored Hopkinton in the third quarter, 13 to 10, and the Hillers trailed 35 to 29 after three. But Elena Davies once again got things going in the fourth quarter. As it went off the defender, Jones lays it up and in. Big time layup by Shelby Jones and the Hillers have a two point lead with 4.07 left to go and a timeout called by Norwood. There you go, now they have to chip on this and sink it. Davies driving in, up with the hook shot and in plus the foul. Elena Davies, 20 points on the night. The Hillers defense held Norwood to two points in the quarter while Hopkinton added 11 points and took the game 40 to 37. Elena Davies had a team high 21 points in the game. Old Bryce trying to feed it up top, stolen away. Quick break for the Hillers to the rack, off the glass and in goes Lulu Murphy and she draws the contact. The second game this past Friday night was the varsity girls game. It was a back and forth first half. The Hillers led after the first two quarters, 20 to 19. Show up to Hedstrom. Great defensive effort by the Hillers. Murphy feeds it out to Cho, up for three. Count it! Lauren wow. Cho knocking it down. Oh boy. 16 to six Hillers. Hopkinton added another 12 points in the third quarter and outscored Norwood. 12 to 10 to increase their lead to three points. Here comes Cho. Round the defender. Good feed to the block. Up and in, Fossbender. The fourth quarter, however, was all Norwood. They outscored Hopkinton nine to four and would end up taking the game 38 to 36. Lauren Cho had a team-high 12 points for the Hillers, while Kiki Fossbender added 8 points. Lexi Trendle also pitched in with 9 points of her own. After Hillers Varsity Boys Hockey opened their season in Norwood with a 5-1 win, the Mustangs would get some revenge. Shared along the backboards now, there's a shot and it's put in. That is going to be Brian Mateer with the goal. This season, hockey is playing two 22-minute, 30-second halves rather than 15-minute periods. And the Mustangs poured it on in the first half, netting six goals. On the face off, it's Mira and Dittmere. Back over to Tolman. He sends it over to the far side. There's a shot and a goal by Kyle Ledger. Hopkinton did have one of their own goals with 129 left to go in the first. Top of the circle, there's a shot and it's in! In the five hole goes Joe Carazza! Norwood added two more goals in the second half and took the game eight to one. 
Owen Smith to the right block. Around the horn they go up to Wyatt, launches a three and he knocks it down. How about that, a pair of field goals for Wyatt Stevens, the sophomore. The Hopkinton JV boys met up with Norwood this past Sunday. Wyatt Stevens dropped nine points in the first quarter to help Hopkinton take a 14-7 lead. We'll have a, we have a whole lot of fun on that show, talking about everything going on locally and nationally as well. Yeah, I don't think I did too well on my, uh, doing too well on my picks. We'll have to take a look. Up for three and good is Kyle Bertucci Bissonette. Stevens dropped another 10 points in the second quarter as Hopkinton knocked down 22 points and took a 36 to 18 lead into the second half. Left corner, good ball distribution there by the Hillers. Desenroth up for the shot, no good. Swatted back out by Peters to Desenroth. Down to the left corner, up and in goes Wyatt Stevens. A long two from the corner. Norwood outscored Hopkinton in the second half, but it would not be enough. The Hillers would take the game 55 to 47. Wyatt Stevens scored a team high 21 points for the Hillers. And this run, and we have a steal by Matt Cooper. Casper over to Sarapusco in the corner. Up to Cooper. Hands it back over to Keith. Drives the lane up with the right hand. And it's pulled down by Di Pietro for the putback. He goes up and in, plus the foul, and and one. In the varsity game, Hopkinton cruised for 20 points in the first quarter versus Norwood. Over to Marazzini, he'll launch a three and knock it down. Back and forth we go. The Hillers outscored Norwood in the second quarter, 16 to 12. Anthony DiPietro chipped in for several points in the quarter. Pressure by the Mustangs. Paharic, Keith, back to Paharic. Over to Casper for three, no, a little short there, but up and in goes Di Pietro. Karosh Fatahi knocked down a couple of field goals in the third quarter as both teams put up 13 points apiece. Second for Norwood. Driving down, Fatahi around the defender, up and in with the right hand. Josh Sarapusco exploded for 10 fourth quarter points. Driving in, great feed of Sarapusco, and Sarapusco, the senior, finishes once again. The Hillers took the game 70 to 60. Josh Sarapusco had a team high 17 points. Anthony DiPietro dropped 13 points, and the Hillers' victory to split the series with Norwood at one game apiece. Kicks over to Hyman, up for the shot, and good. Hiller's boys basketball took on Westwood on Tuesday, January 12th. In the JV game, Wyatt Stevens dropped 23 points for the Hillers. Full court pressure by the Hillers here in the closing seconds of the half. Stolen away by Wyatt Stevens to the bucket, and yes, it'll fall through. Nice steal there. Buzzer beater, a little short. And at the end of two, it's Westwood 25, the Hillers 20. Sam Pantera added 15 points. Boy, has this game turned. Pantera knocks down a three, just what the doctor ordered for the Hillers. The Hillers scored a whopping 26 points in the third quarter to take a 46 to 39 lead heading into the fourth. It is a Westwood rebound, put back, no good there, and the Hillers have it off the Miss Robertson shot. And here comes Hopkinton, a pass over to the corner, knocking down the three, Wyatt Stevens. Wyatt Stevens knocked down a trifecta of threes in the third quarter. Players gathering close to each other, Kane up for the lane, no good. Also the defender has to be six feet away from the inbounder. Up for three, wow. and swishing it right through, Wyatt Stevens. Hiller's JV ended up taking the game 58-51 over Westwood. 
the defender and finds Fatahi. Fatahi up and oh. good, plus the foul. In the varsity game, James McGowan knocked down four three-point buckets and five field goals overall to help Westwood outscore Hopkinton in the quarter, 16 to 13. Trailing 36 to 29, heading into the third quarter, the Hillers responded with 23 points and outscored Westwood 23 to 20 to cut the Westwood lead down to four points, heading into the final eight minutes. Keith trying to work his way by McGowan. Here he goes, pass to the corner, Di Pietro for three, off the rim, no good. Keith with the rebound and the put back and in. Westwood, however, outscored Hopkinton in the fourth quarter, 16 to 10, and took the game 72 to 62. On Wednesday, January 13th, Hillers Varsity Hockey took the ice to take on the Wolverines of Westwood, looking to rebound from an eight to one loss the previous week versus Norwood. But you don't see it too often, not too, too often though. No. There's a shot and that is in! Toko with the goal! Right off the post and in it goes with 17.08 left to go in the first half. And the Hillers take the one nothing lead. Sheamus, we'll wrap it back around Mara. Leaves it out, there's a shot and a goal! Joe Carazza! Hillers scored two goals in the first half. Westwood added one of their own with under two minutes left to make it a two to one game. It certainly is. Racing up the near side, Horseball. Leaves it out, can someone get there? There's a shot and that is in! The Wolverines respond. Paul Dyson with the goal. Hopkinton dominated the second half, silencing Westwood and adding three Hiller goals. Mira up against Fahey. Carrazza sends it back to Jarrett. Now to Carrazza. Leaves it out for Berman. Rister goal! Mike Berman! What a beauty of a shot that was from Mike Berman. And Carrazza with another assist. Along the corner. Here comes Mira. Leaves it for Carrazza. Racing in, there's a shot and a goal! What a beauty, Joe Carrazza, the sophomore! Ball. Over to Faye. Toko, to the empty net, and it's in! Jeff Toko, with the finisher. The Hillers took the win over Westwood, five to one, and improved to two wins and one loss on the season. Westwood fell to two and one overall. This past Wednesday, Hiller's Alpine Ski also hit the slopes with a number of different schools. Now it looks like the snow is holding up pretty well. I mean, I see a few deep ruts um, developing mid hill. I can't obviously see up over the hill. Um, so I do expect to see, you know, you know, some improvement in times between first and second runs. Yeah, but a couple of seconds. Oh no, it'll be. We're talking. We're talking. Tenth, if you can improve by a tenth of a second, that's a that's a significant oh, really? improvement. Okay. Yeah, ski racing is is a game of hundredths of a second. Now from down here, from this angle, the slope looks fairly flat. Is it? A, or are there dips and such that we aren't seeing? No, here? not really. It's it's relatively flat. It's it's well, it's it's uh you know it's a consistent, okay, uh, a consistent slope, I guess, is what I would call it. Sure. Um, and that's great, right? Because for those folks who have not, you know, had a lot of formal training, mm -hmm. it it takes a lot of the intimidation away and really you know makes it more fun. Both the Hillers ski teams finished second place in their first meeting of the season. 
This was the best team finish for the girls in program history. Kate Barry was second, Kiara Niss fifth, Libby Herlihy was sixth to lead the girls, while Jackson Schlusel was first for the boys, Jake LaRoche was fifth, and Cameron Hanna was seventh for the Hiller Boys Alpine Ski Team. On Tuesday, January 26th, Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Basketball battled Holliston. In the first quarter, the Hillers had four different point scorers and outscored the Panthers 15 to eight. Driving in, up and in she goes, Kiki Fossbender. Fossbender drives the floor, feeds the wing, Edstrom drives in to the block, up and in. Joe feeds it out, Lulu for three. Count it, knocks wow. it down. She has five points so far tonight. In the second quarter, Kiki Fossbender and Maggie Hedstrom added six points each. Lauren Cho added eight points to help the Hillers outscore Holliston 23 to 11 in the quarter and take a 38 to 19 lead into the half. And now we're gonna have a steal. Here comes Cho to the bucket, up, count it. Lauren Cho takes it to the house. Back to Lulu, you got Maggie and Carly Hedstrom both in the game. Lulu to Maggie, up for three, got it! Swish! Nothing but net, 28 to 11 Hillers. Over to Fossbender, back to Cho, for three, got it! O'Neill working the low post. Cho over to Millie, 10 seconds left in the quarter. Cho over to Maggie Hedstrom, up for three, swishes it right through. In the third quarter, Kiki Fossbender, Lauren Cho, Maggie Hedstrom, and Lulu Murphy all contributed in a 15 to 10 quarter to up the lead to 53 to 29. Lulu pulls up, turns it around to Fossbender, back to Lulu. Maggie, and Hiller's gonna take their time on their possessions. They don't have to rush shots here with a big lead as Maggie knocks down a three. The Hiller's lead would prove to be too much for Holliston to come back from, and Hopkinton took the game 57 to 37. Lauren Cho had a team leading 14 points, while Kiki Fossbender added 13 points, and Maggie Hedstrom added 12. The Hiller's improved to three wins and one loss overall. Now it's Lulu. Leads it to Ainelli. Lulu now swipes it back. Driving in is Kane up and in. And the freshman has her first points in a varsity uniform. And here comes Cataldo. Cataldo working her way up the ice towards the net. Takes the shot, and look at that, Norwood. Draws first blood to make it one to nothing. On Wednesday, January 27th, Hillers Dover Sherborne Co-op Varsity Girls Hockey played their first home game of the season versus Norwood. The Mustangs of Norwood netted a goal 30 seconds in to the first half. That would be the only goal until Norwood added another goal with 18.39 left in the second half. Stolen away by Nam, and there's a shot, and it gets away from McCluskey, and in it goes. A shorthanded goal for the Norwood Mustangs. McCluskey thought she had that one wrapped up, but it squirted out of her grasp and ends up in the net. The Mustangs of Norwood took the game two to nothing. The Hillers Alpine Ski Team also hosted a meet last Thursday. They finished in second place overall. Here's a look at some of the contest. Should be Kate. Eight oh one. Okay, so yeah, that's Kate coming down the girls' course. Yep. Yep. Kate is a four-year team member and a uh, second-year captain. There she goes. Nicely done, nice. Kate. 24-74, here comes Jackson. Here's Jackson, go speed racer. 
Boom. Nice. 22. 22. Well done. This past Friday, January 29th, the Hopkinton Hillers girls varsity basketball team took on Dedham and celebrated the five seniors on their roster. Here's a look at the pregame Senior Day festivities. First, we'd also like to recognize Dedham's three seniors. If you'd just like to stand, number 14, Melissa Elliott. Number 20, Kara Bullett. And number 24, Delaney Turner. Congratulations, Joseph. And now for the Hopkinton seniors. First, Kylie Hardbrook. And her guests, Kristen, her mother, Mike, her father, and Abby, her sister. Our next senior is one of our captains, Lulu Murphy. And her guest, her mother Tracy, her father Kevin, her brother Josh, sister Emma, and grandmother Betty. Our next senior, also a captain, Millie Sinsenny, and her guest, her mother Mary, her father Scott, her sister Annabelle, and brother Ethan. Senior Captain Caroline Connell and her guests, her mom Melissa and her dad Mike. Congratulations, ladies. Both teams put up 12 points in the first quarter. Carly and Maggie Hedstrom each knocked down a three-point field goal. Hedstrom on the entry. Over to Lulu. The kick out to the corner, up for three, got it. Maggie Hedstrom knocks it down. Pretty good arm there by Delaney Turner. Cho feeds it out to the corner, up for three, and knocking it down is Carly Hedstrom. In the second quarter, Lauren Cho put up eight points, including a pair of threes to help the Hillers outscore Dedham 16-7 and take a 28-19 lead into the halftime break. Well, that might have just been a contact stoppage. Too many players in the same area. Cho for three. Got it. Swishes it right through. There goes Maggie to Cho for three. Count it, Lauren Cho feeling it. In the third quarter, more effective defensive pressure by the Hillers and a three point field goal from three different players helped them add to their lead. There, and it's collected by Lulu, nice rebound. Kiki driving in up from the block, air ball. Good rebound by Trendle, up top now and Lulu knocks it down. 
show. Leads it out to Lulu. Now up top, Maggie for three. Got it, swishes it through. Her second three-point bucket of the game. 12-point game. Show over to Fossbender for three, yes. They outscored Dedham 11-7 to take a 39-26 lead into the final quarter. In the fourth quarter, Kiki Fossbender added eight points. Here comes Hopkinton up court, Lulu with possession. Edstrom over Trendle, now Lulu. Fossbender for three, knocks it down. They could just wait for a good opportunity. Fossbender for three, and I'd say that was a good opportunity as she knocks it down. The Hillers outscored Dedham in the frame 12 to 11 and took the game 56 to 37. Kiki Fossbender had a team leading 21 points, while Lauren Cho added 12 points. Hopkinton improved to four and one overall. After Medfield shut down sports for the week, Bellingham picked up the challenge against the Hillers boys hockey team this past Saturday. Prior to the game, both teams had a moment of silence for injured Bishop Fian player A.J. Quetta. Hopkinton took control early, netting five goals in the first half. And now taking over, that's Swain, looking for a shot there. Good defense in front of the net. And Mara going to get to the puck. Here he goes, on a break to the net. Shot and a goal! Habit Mara makes it 1-0 Hillers. Less than a minute into action. 25 seconds into action to be exact. Fast start. Toko sends it over to the near side. There's a shot out in front of the net, and it's a loose puck. And was that put in? Yes, it was. And that is going to be Ryan Title with the goal. Ryan Title makes it two to nothing with 19:17 left to go in the first half. Aiden Walsh on the assist. Over to Berman. And that nice pass over to Berman. That went in. Wow, what a shot by Mike Berman. Wow. Great for the blue light. And you can give Cam Jarrett the assist. And he didn't expect that to go in. But he found the seam and put it through with 324 left to make it 3 to nothing. Hillers. Sends it out to Toko. Toko looking for a shot. Sends it over to Jarrett, and Jarrett puts it in. A beauty of a setup for Jarrett by Jeff Toko. And it's 4 0 Hillers. Go for a tougher shot. And here comes Toko looking for a shot, and he puts it in. Jeff Toko goes right side, top corner, and makes it 5 0. And that goal comes with one second left in the first half. Five to nothing after one, and the Hillers added another goal in the second half. And now racing up the ice on a wide open break. Tyler Morris, he'll leave it behind. And the shot by Moore, and that's it! Andrew Moore makes it six to nothing, Hillers. And a great assist by Tyler Morris. Hopkinton took the game six to nothing and improved to three wins and one loss overall. On Thursday, January 28th, Hiller's Alpine Ski had another successful competition. Here's a look. The protest video evidence is admissible. All right, Kate, let's see what you got. Beautiful through the flush, back to the rhythm. Hit that delay, bring it on in. Push, push, nice, well done. Fantastic, that is the fastest time of the night on the girls course without a quit, without a doubt. Alpine Ski had a big night as the boys won for the first time 
in the program's history, and the girls took second place. Kate Barry finished first overall, Libby Herlihy finished fourth, Clara Niss finished fifth, Gabriella Siri finished 16th to lead the girls. As far as the boys, Jackson Schlussel finished first, Cameron Hanna finished second, Jake Lakosh finished sixth, and Nathan Foster finished 10th to lead the boys. Congratulations on the first first place finish in program history to the boys Alpine Ski Team. On Thursday, February 4th, Hiller's girls basketball took on Westwood. In the varsity game, Lauren Cho netted six first quarter points and helped the Hillers to an 11 to five lead. On the second, nope. Front of the rim it goes. Hillers have it. Here comes Cho, driving in, up with the left hand and good, plus the foul. Ariana Katzman netted five Westwood points in the second quarter as the Wolverines outscored the Hillers 16 to eight in the second and led 21 to 19 at the half. Pass over to Olivia Williams, back to Dolly on the short corner. Fires it up top to Hancock. Now to the wing to Katzman for three, knocks it down. Now Fleming turns it around. Over to Williams, up for three, knocks it down. It was a back and forth third quarter. Westwood took the frame 12 to 10. Westwood would also outscore the Hillers in the fourth quarter, 11 to seven, and take the game 44 to 35. Stevens takes it up, feeds it over to Hicks, back to Stevens, up for three, got it. Boy, it's Stevens, a sharpshooter there. On Friday, February 5th, the Hillers boys took on Westwood. In the JV game, Westwood led 23-16 heading into the second half. Stevens gets it over to Hicks. Now to the corner, Hyman for three, got it. The Hillers knocked down a pair of threes and outscored Westwood in the third quarter, 14-12, and cut Westwood's lead down. Stevens takes it up. Drives the lane, up, count it, Wyatt Stevens. 35 to 30, Westwood leading into the fourth quarter and Wyatt Stevens and Rowan Smith came through big for the Hillers in the fourth. Still feed it across. This should be Operation Burn Clock for the Hillers. Very much. Stevens driving down, nice feed of Pantera and Pantera finishes. What a beauty of a behind the back pass. Wyatt Stevens dropped five points in the quarter, and Rowan Smith added eight points of his own as the Hillers outscored Westwood 20 to eight and took the game in comeback fashion, 50 to 43. A two to one game in favor of Westwood. Up for three is Cooper and he knocks it down. In the varsity game, Matt Cooper and Owen Schnur each dropped five first quarter points. Hillers led 18 to 10 heading into the second. Especially when we're not used to having the student section and, and all the parents and siblings. And Matt Cooper knocking it down. Westwood's Kyle Murray would drop six second quarter points as the Wolverines outscored Hopkinton in the frame 13 to 10. Hillers led at the half, 28 to 23. The entry. Feeds it over to Sarapusco, nice finish. Sarapusco just waiting for it. In the third quarter, Jake Sarapusco added six points for the Hillers, and Hopkinton won the quarter, 18 to 17, and led 46 to 40, heading into the fourth. Pass up to Dolabani, to the bucket. Great block there by Casper. What hustle. Cooper. Feeds it over to the wing of Schnur, driving in up with the right hand. Pulls it back down off the missed shot. Cooper, yes! Matt Cooper added seven points for the Hillers in the fourth quarter, but Westwood would add 20 points of their own to outscore the Hillers 20 to 11 and take the game 60 to 57. On Saturday, February 6th, Hillers boys hockey hosted Westwood Prior to the game, they celebrated senior night. Here's a look at the festivities. 
We are here today to acknowledge the effort, commitment, and dedication shown by each of our seniors over the course of their playing careers, both on and off the ice, especially during this most challenging time. And now for our senior, Hockey Tanillage. First, number seven, Amy Walsh. And here the Tigers, the Tigers are here. In the first half, at 7.22 left, Westwood nets the first goal of the game. Break here. Berman gets a stick in there and a goal for Westwood. Able to get by him and net it is Brendan Fay. Nice shot by Fay, had the break he was looking for and able to pop it in for the Wolverines. The Hillers responded with 1.52 left in the half. Toko. Over to Aiden Walsh. He'll send it back towards Dixon. 15 seconds left on the two-man advantage. And that is in! Wow, Seamus! And did that go off of Toko? I believe it did. Yeah. I think Toko is going to get credit for the goal. Seamus will get the assist. Wow! Power by Seamus. Off of Toko and in a one-to-one -one game. And that score comes with 152 left in the first half. Jeff Toko, with the help of Ronnie Seamus, made it a one-to-one -one game. It stayed that way until the second half with 15-18 left to go. Mira up against Foley. Grazza gets in there. Back to Dixon, Mira. And that went in. Have it, Mara! Makes it two to one, Hillers. And the score comes with 15-18 left in the second half. It was a two to one, Hillers lead until 5.40 left in the game. 10 seconds left on the two-man advantage. Here comes Fahey. There's a shot and a goal! Right through the five hole goes Fahey. Wow. Right at the end of the two man advantage. A game tying goal by Westwood's Colin Fahey. Could the Hillers answer back? Less than 90 seconds left, and here's what happened Grazza. Seamus, Mara. Here comes Mara. And he lost it for the moment. Out in front, turned away. Soltarf was able to nick it towards the net. Mara, 
Back to Sheamus. Sheamus to Mira. There's a shot and a goal! Puppet Mira! He does it again! The goal comes with 1.13 left and the Hillers take the 3-2 lead. Unbelievable! Sophomore Pavit Mera nets the go-ahead goal and the Hillers would hang on and take the tough physical game 3-2. Hopkinton improves to four wins and two losses as they get the victory on Senior Day. Congratulations to the Hillers on a hard-fought Senior Day win. On Monday, February 8th, Hiller Girls Hockey battled Dedham. The Marauders netted a pair of goals in the first period. Sent over to Crowley. Looking for a shot wrister, and that's a goal. How about that, Maley Crowley from long distance. Sent over by Crowley. Here comes Dedham. Steck trying to charge in. Nice move there to the net. Shot goal. Alexis Steck, the assistant captain, makes it 2 to nothing. Dedham. Despite good goaltending and defense by the Hopkinton co-op team, Dedham nets another goal in the second half and takes the game 3-0. There's another one, and that ends up deflecting off of Madeline McLeish and into the net. Unbelievable. On Wednesday, February 10th, Hiller's boys basketball took on Holliston. In the JV game, Zach Hyman netted eight first quarter points, and the Hillers led 12 to nine after the first. I guess zone championship, you could call it. They'll be competing against the best of the best from uh, the five or six teams that they compete against. Carson feeds it out to Hyman, up for three, and he knocks it down. Zach Hyman feeling it. In the second quarter, Wyatt Stevens struck for three field goals and helped the Hillers to a 28-22 lead heading into the halftime break. Up for three from up top, knocking it down, Wyatt Stevens. Speaking of... The Hillers outscored Holliston in the third quarter, 13-9, and led 41-31 heading into the final eight minutes. With the rebound along the corner. Comes the Hillers off the turnover. Hicks takes it to the rack, up with the left hand and in. The Hillers' offense continued to roll in the fourth quarter, and they took the game 53 to 39. That was on Rowan Smith. That's his second. Now we have a steal. Driving in, Hyman up with the left hand. Count it. Zach Hyman making it happen. Feeds it out to Keefe. Keefe gonna drive it in, kicks it out to Schnur, up for three, count it. Swishes it through. In the first quarter of the varsity game, the Hillers outscored Holliston 12 to eight. I believe it is the second year for Coach Champagne as Casper drives in and finishes. It's his second field goal of the game. In the second quarter, Matt Cooper knocked down eight points for Hopkinton in the 16 to nine quarter. Hillers led 28 to 17 at the half. And on the entry. And it's kept in bounds, but taken by Schnur, and he goes up and in. In the third quarter, the Hillers had five different point scorers and rallied for a 21 to 16 quarter and took a 49 to 33 lead into the fourth. Point lead, but still plenty of time left to go. Merkin over to Spencer Merkin. And Keith got a tip on that attempted pass. Tahi came up with it. Cooper gets it out to Keith. Up for three. Count it. Swishes it through. The Hillers knocked down 10 free throws in the fourth quarter and took the game 62 to 54. The Alpine Ski Group Championship took place on Thursday, February 11th.
Here's a look. Able to pull uh, five tenths out of your time on that hill. My fire sniff on the right. Very nice. Yep. Smoking. Tory Fisher on the left. Come on, Tory. 808, I think. Again, we can't see there the good numbers until they stand up at the bottom. And then we verify. All right. Nathan Foster on the right. I think our cookies got covered in snow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep them cold. There's Nathan. Holly Berry on the left. Nice. There goes Allie. Hmm, the lift has stopped. That's not good. Yeah, no, that, that makes it hard to keep the race going. You got quite a backup here. Yeah. Come Andrew on. Hurley, he just came through on the right. The girls took second place and the boys took third place. Congratulations on a great alpine ski season by the Hillers. On Friday, February 12th, Hillers girls basketball took on Medway in the JV game. The Hillers took a 10-8 lead in the first quarter. Flanagan feeds it over to Davies. Around the perimeter they go, up for three. Dacey, and she knocks it down. In the second quarter, Elena Davies scored nine points in the 15-8 quarter to help the Hillers to a 25-16 halftime lead. Uh, between Hopkinton and Medway, they should certainly be uh, pretty close games that go back and forth as these two teams typically do. Knocking down a three is Elena Davies. The Hillers had several different point scores in the third quarter. 11 point Hillers lead, 438 and counting left to go in the third quarter. Up for three and good is Emma Dacey. Her second three bucket of the game. Hopkinton would end up taking the JV game 46 to 36 over Medway. The Hillers driving in, up and in with the left hand goes Kelsey McCoy. In the varsity game on Friday, February 12th, Lauren Beach dropped nine second quarter points to help Medway to a 24 to 17 halftime lead. Over to the elbow to Regan. Now to Longville, now to the corner. Beach for three and she knocks it down. Lauren Beach with her first points of the game. In the third quarter, the Hillers had four different point scorers. Make that Maggie Hedstrom, excuse me. And a nice feed over to Caroline Connell, who goes up and in. The Medway offense was just too potent as Lauren Beach dropped 14 points for the Mustangs and Maggie Regan had 12 in the Medway, 46 to 36 win over the Hillers. On Saturday, February 13th, Hiller co-op girls hockey battled Medway. Before the game, they celebrated senior night. Here's a look.
It was a gritty defensive battle. Westwood netted a goal with 2.22 left in the first half. Here's a shot out in front and that's put in. With the initial shot, it was Hannah Blumquist and then Kendall Blumquist waiting right in front of the net, able to pop it in and make it one to nothing. The Hillers responded with just over 11 seconds left in the game. A nice send off the go. swing hammer. Dusky's gone. The goalie has been pulled to bring on the extra attacker. That shot just wide. Last opportunity here for Hopkins and Dover Sherboy. That's off the goalie, out in front of the net, that's put in! It's a goal! Hopkins and Dover Sherboy! Wow. Sophia Mazzucchelli pops it in. Assists Merkel as Kelly Mer Kaylee Merkel was able to get it in front of the net. Holy and Sophia Mazzucchelli able to put that one in. Sophomore Sophia Mazzucchelli nets the game tying goal with a great assist from Kaylee Merkel and goaltender Kristen McCluskey records 55 saves as the Hillers and Westwood end the senior day battle in a one to one tie. A very impressive tie for the Hopkinton Dover Sherborne co op girls hockey team. Hopkinton Dover Sherborne girls co-op hockey took on Medway in their final game of the season. Medway netted two first half goals. And now it'll float into Hopkinton territory. And there's a shot and a goal for Medway. How about that? A nice start for Medway as Jenna Fitzsimmons nets it in. Back. Leaving it out in front there was Fitzsimmons, brushed away. And now a shot in front of the net and another Medway goal, Maggie Lester nets it. A great feed by Fitzsimmons, and it's a 2-0 game. Medway took the win 3-0, but it was a strong effort by the Hopkinton co-op team against a very strong Medway team. Congratulations on a great season to the players and the first year head coach, Scott Hayes. Hopkinton boys basketball met up with Ashland for their winter season finale. We start off with the JV game. Sam Pantera knocked down several points in the first quarter to help the Hillers to a 16 to five lead. And this is the last game of the season for the boys teams. Stevens with a nice feed. Over to Pantera, and Pantera puts it in. Nice early lead for the Hillers. In the second quarter, three different Hillers netted multiple field goals. Up and good wow. is Dessenroth. Looked like a couple hands on that ball when he shot it. Hopkinton led 31 to 20 heading into the third quarter. Hyman feeds it over to Desenroth who finishes. The Hillers kept hitting well from the field and hung on to take the win in their season finale over Ashland, 61 to 54. Whole different uh, team out here in the second quarter. Hillers are struggling a little bit, but there's a three from Bertucci Bissonette. Good response. In the varsity game, it was a 16 to 13 Ashland lead after a back and forth first quarter. Both these teams for sure. Dalloway for three. No good, batted up, pulled down by Barazzini. Here comes Keith. Out to Marazzini, he'll launch the three. Knocks it down. The Hillers offense was unstoppable in the second quarter as they struck for 18 points and took a 31 to 25 lead into the half. Marazzini over to Raheem in the corner for three, knocks it down. 
In the third quarter, both teams put up 16 points apiece. Leads it over to Raheem. Now up to Di Pietro, down to the corner. Keefe, yes, swishes it through. He has 14 points this afternoon. Hillers led 47 to 41 heading into the four. Kicks it out to Raheem, up for three. Got it! Caleb Raheem with his second three of the game. He has six points. More back and forth in the fourth quarter, but the Hillers hung on to take the win 60 to 56. They finished with three wins and six losses overall. Hillers boys varsity hockey took on Ashland over at Loring Arena. Hillers netted four first half goals. Back to the neutral zone. Set to Ashland territory. Getting there for the Clockers is Riva. And now sent out by Mera. Dixon takes a shot. And now out in front of the net, Carazza pokes it in. Joe Carazza makes it a one to nothing Hillers lead. And Mera trying to clear. Mera flips it over to the neutral zone. And here comes Carazza, and he was looking for a break there. Mera with the backhander, and that's in! The Hillers score a shorthanded goal. Have it, Mera! Joe Carazza nearly had a nice break. Did not get the puck placed like he wanted, but was able to flip it to Mera, and Mera puts it in with 8.56 left to go in the first half. Back and forth we go in Ashland territory. Now up behind the net is Aiden Walsh. He'll send it out. And over to Carazza, and it's going to be put in! Joe Carazza with another goal. Mera looking for a shot, and it is going to be yet another goal for the Hillers. Hopkinton added two more in the second half. Break up the ice and a good shot there. He is going to be a player to watch over the next couple of years. Sends it over to Mera. Mera. And now Zolotarev will flip it in. Zolotarev ends up with it wide open in front of the net and is able to flip it in to make it 5-1 to one Hillers. For Andrew Moore, he'll take a long shot and wrap that one around. Hillers in the midst of a change. Caleb Dacey back into the game. And Dacey looking for a shot, he pokes it in! Unbelievable! The cut by Milko and Dacey able to poke it in. How about that? The senior comes into the game and gets a beauty of an opportunity to poke it right through the five hole and make it a six to one game. The Hillers took the win six to two. Hopkinton lost a road game to Medfield in their season finale and finishes the season with six wins and three losses overall. Thanks for joining us on this edition of HCAM Sports Talk Live. For everyone at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. And don't forget, you can catch HCAM Sports Talk Live every Wednesday at 3 p.m. From all of us, take care and be well. We'll talk to you again soon.